a, don't have a toaster where we're at. And we wanted some toast and jam for breakfast. So Renee found this and it was in the grocery store and it's like ready-made toast. So we decided to give it a try. I thought that it needed sprucing up a little bit by putting it in the oven for a few minutes. You know, you, you want to eat warm toast, not cold toast. And so we tried that. Do you remember the scene from Chevy Chase, the movie Christmas Vacation, where he's trying to eat the chicken and it's like, crunch, 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 crunch. That's kind of what it's like. It's like eating crouton bread. It, uh, it doesn't quite do it for toast. It was that time that Renee needed another haircut, and so she found Wild Dandelion. And the lady's name is Claudia. I'll put a link to her uh, shop down in the comment section or in the description section. Her dog, Johnny Cash, <laughs> is meeting us there at the door. It's right across the street from the Chill and Grill, and we're going to go in there in just a few minutes and have some food. It's lunchtime. <laughs> the Chill and Grill is a good place for burgers, wings, uh, that kind of stuff. And uh, they've got a bar and they've got a, a big area there in the back uh, for like local groups to come do concerts and things like that. It's kind of an expat hangout and uh, yeah, pretty cool. Don't know if you remember seeing the video when we were at Sarita's Beach and we ate at Barracudas. Well, there is a second location and it's right here in Toto Santos, right on the main drag. We're going there for, well, not Renee, but I'm going there for fish tacos. What are you going there for? Probably shrimp tacos. Probably shrimp tacos again. Either way, it's fine dining. Now they're a little bit pricey, I guess, but hey, you know what? You get what you pay for, and these are the best. The fish tacos are 55 pesos each. The shrimp or camaron tacos are 65 pesos each. And what that translates to is, for the fish taco, $3.15 in the U.S., $4.23 Canadian. The shrimp tacos, Canadian, $5.00. U.S. $3.72. Like I said, a little bit pricey, but you look at what you get, and Jenny said, bring it on. All right, we enjoyed the tacos there at Barracuda here in Toto Santos. And you know what? I almost hate to say this, but I think it was, I think they were even better here than they were out at Sarita Beach, if that's even possible. Because uh, they fix them there, or they they bring the product from there to uh, Toto Santos, but it was bueno. It was very very good. If you're in Toto Santos in this area, Barracudas, man, you gotta try it. For Renee likes the shrimp tacos, but their fish tacos, I believe, are the best I've ever had. No kidding. Someone once told me that even after you eat a big meal and you're completely full, there's that special little compartment that needs to be filled with dessert. Let's go get some. Now this is the Trace Leches cake, the three milk cake. Uh, I believe our, our host back at 
the casita Greg had told us about this. The owner is one of his neighbors and he said it was excellent and I bet it is. Yeah, I bet. I'll, I'll save you. <laughs> I will take it upon myself to eat it all so that you will be okay. Mm-hmm. I don't think so. Mm. Jenny wanted to know where hers was. Hey, hey, where are you taking it? You had enough, right? <laughs> and you can always get some to take home with you. And once or sometimes twice a week, they roast their own coffee. And let me tell you, I had some of their coffee, and it is perfecto. It is wonderful coffee, and I'm a coffee aficionado, and I tell you, it was great. As evening approaches, Toto Santos begins to slow down a bit. Takes on a different vibe. I said a different vibe. What I mean by that is closing down. They kind of roll the sidewalks up and begin closing things down as the sun goes down. And you know, maybe that's the safest thing to do, the best thing to do, and maybe more towns need to do that. I don't know, but I don't know. Toto Santos is a quiet, easygoing, nice, very nice town, if you can afford it. <laughs> but it's, it's a great town. And to be this near the Pacific Ocean, right on the coast, it's okay. I know it seems like all we do is eat in it. You know, maybe that is all we do is eat. But the next evening, we went to Italiano Pizza Kitchen to get a pizza. And, I mean, they've got good pizza here, I mean to tell you. And while we were there, we met a friend, a new friend, a young lady by the name of Anika. She is from Colorado. And we had good conversation. Renee and her seemed to hit it off very nicely. <music> See the Pacific Ocean right ahead of us. More adventures in store for tomorrow. 
Romex is in town, and that is a cement company. And there seems to be several construction product companies around. And if you have a lot of construction going on, you certainly need it close by. CSU Toto Santo Center is an international extension of Colorado State University. The center is an opportunity for CSU students to grow as global citizens in their understanding of and appreciation for other cultures. The center provides a variety of research and educational opportunities that CSU students would not otherwise be able to be a part of. The center also creates a community hub for educational sessions and information sharing. CSU's leading educational resources and expertise combined with natural, cultural, and historical aspects offered by the community creates expansive possibilities for research, learning, and experiences for Baja California SOAR residents, the CSU community, and beyond. CSU is committed to the people of Baja California SOAR and looks forward to establishing a long-term place in the community where CSU... Toto Santos and all the individuals involved benefit from an exchange of knowledge. Pretty cool. Students should be able to study pretty nicely with this as your backyard. Quiet, peaceful, and very tranquil. Adjacent to the university is a place that maybe you've never been in before. We'll take you. This is a typical cemetery in Mexico and we'll come up here and look at some of the graves in just a moment but uh I mean pretty doggone elaborate yeah my family knows just to have me cremated and dump my ashes into the ocean wow this is this is over the top man Just look at the craftsmanship. Look at uh, the buildings that's built to house the dead here. I'm particularly interested in this one. Not, you know, hey, not for myself, but it's unfinished. But I want to let's look at the ceiling in here because looking at the roof, I suspect, yeah. This one's been painted pretty with some sunflowers and birds on it. I know in the USA, uh, kind of the mindset of a previous generation was, you know, I was going out and putting flowers on the graves of relatives, you know, for every holiday and birthdays and Memorial Day and Christmas and Thanksgiving and Halloween and any other holiday. Yeah. My generation, you know, we kind of stopped doing that because a lot of us are getting cremated. In fact, uh, I think more people in the USA are cremated now uh, than are actually buried. I'm all for, if you want to give me flowers and homage and hang out with me, you know, do it while I'm alive. Yeah, just saying. This one's got a palapa roof on it. Uh, evidently, this fellow liked Dos Equis. Stay thirsty, my friend. This one has been dug, but uh, no one in it yet.
you know, while it's not my thing, I do salute the Mexicans for honoring their deceased loved ones. I noticed that several families have come out here. It's a Sunday and they've come out and maybe having a drink with uh, their loved ones or uh, just reliving memories, whatever. And uh, that's cool. That's cool. You know, for me, you know, mine is, I just, you know, I remember my parents and I never really met my grandparents, but I remember my parents and my brother and and friends that uh, have have died. I uh, think about them quite often. In fact, almost every day, think about them. And that's, uh, that's what our memories are for. And uh, we hopefully forget the bad memories and we remember the good things. And they they live on through us and in those memories and uh, experiences every day. You know, I believe that the soul, who we really are, it is eternal. And so, you know, just because we've discarded this old house that we lived in, the body, uh, we do continue to live on. And so, uh, interesting here. Interesting, very peaceful.